Hello, my name is Lisa Shea, and one of the questions that I get asked is what is this little octopus thing that I showed in my intro video? This is called a Netsuke, and it is a toggle. So in the days when people wore Japanese kimonos, which is, you know, this sort of thing that I'm wearing, and this is actually a, a traditional Japanese outfit that I have on, um, they don't have pockets. So traditionally, they would not have pockets, and there would be a sash that would wear around the middle to hold it closed, but there wouldn't be anything to tuck, um, you know, things that you were carrying around, money or anything else, if you had pens or pencils or whatever other kinds of things you were carrying with you. There would be nowhere to carry it. So what they would do is they would have a pouch that they would carry with them, and they needed it to hang on the sash, the thing that was wrapped around like a belt around the outside of the kimono. So these things, the netsuke, were toggles. They were parts of the pouch system that would pull it open or close. So there'd be little holes in this that the strings would string through and that would hold the pouch open or closed. You know, you pull it so that the pouch would shrink shut. I'm sure most of you guys have seen things with strings on them that you pull so that the mouth of the bag clo opens and closes together. So. Because these were one of the things that people carried with them all the time with their pouch that had their personal things on it, they got more and more elaborate and you would get a toggle that had something to do with things you were interested in. So an octopus was often about romance because you have all these arms that you're grabbing onto each other with. Some people had dragons or cats or dogs. I have all sorts of these things all over the house because I love them. But in general, the thought is that they were a piece of decoration that people would always have with them that was part of their normal daily wear. So you could change your kimonos like every season. So you'd have some kimonos for spring, kimonos for summer, kimonos for fall, and so on, and for different kinds of occasions. But even though, you know, some people have different purses that they go with different outfits, you would often still have a certain kind of pouch or set of pouches that you'd like to wear. And they would have certain kinds of shapes that maybe had to do with your family crest design, or maybe they had to do with your own personal interests. So in any case, that's what these are. Nowadays, most people use them just as decorations to have around the house. But, you know, if you have a pouch that needs a toggle on it, then that could be a fun use for them, too. And I'll also comment that in the um, original days, they'd be carved in wood or ivory or different kinds of precious stones. Nowadays, many of these are recreated in resin and plastics, but they still have, of course, wood carved versions and more expensive versions if you can afford the more expensive versions. So let me know if you have any questions about any other parts of my videos or any other questions you'd like to ask me, and I am happy to answer them. So have a lovely afternoon.